Also, one other things that I wanted to ask you for is the ethical implications, right? Uh, it's a topic that it's uh, last year's very, very sound. So in the world of the transactions, does it impact as well? So are there any specific industries that uh, the banks don't want to cover in terms of these, these transactions? Well, that changes from bank to bank and over time, um, and, and it basically comes out of experience. If, if banks are having um, problems in their portfolio and they're seeing that a particular industry has more problems than others, yeah. uh, they're going to steer away from that. The nice thing is that their SBA data is public. It's publicly available. You can, you can get the entire database from Freedom of Information Act, and, and not only banks, but everyone else can sort of parse through that data and see which are the better performing industries and franchises. Once again, I don't think, even though that data is available, there are vendors outside of banks who do a great job with that data, but within the banks themselves, I haven't seen them all using the data very well. They banks tend to be a little more old fashioned and go kind of on anecdotal. So the yeah. credit folks in the bank might see that uh, landscaping businesses are having more trouble than others, and they're going to start steering clearer of those landscaping industries. Um, so it's a, it's a fluid uh, kind of situation, and it, it's different from bank to bank. One bank may dislike e-commerce because they've had bad experience, and another bank will be embracing it because they feel they know how to evaluate those companies better and how to take risk there. So um, it's always good to kind of uh, talk to different banks based on the industry that you're that you're working with yeah